to Jubilee with Matt Spinks. We uh, are going to have a meditation episode today. Got my buddy Dante Ficka with us on the keyboards, and we're just going to take time to mystically notice Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the room with us, in our being with us. Um, so much of this gospel is caught as much as taught. So sometimes we're going to have contemplation episodes and just times like this to, to meditate and just to feel the relationship that we have to experience and uh, to set our mind on things above together. So why don't you just find a comfortable spot, maybe a place you can close your eyes or just lean back or whatever position is uh, comfortable for you to meditate. Read some scriptures over you. I'm gonna speak a few phrases and it'll be a, a Christian guided meditation. Listen to your voice. And specifically today, we want to meditate on you, Jesus, our Jubilee. Would you reveal to us today? what you have liberated us out of, what you have brought us away from, what you have brought us into, what you, the glory that you've brought us into. Communion with the living person, with the living presence. Father, Son, and Spirit. We read from Leviticus 25, the prophetic picture. Count off seven Sabbath years, seven times seven years, so that the seven Sabbath years amount to a period of 49 years. And have the trumpet sounded everywhere on the tenth day, of the seventh month, on the Day of Atonement. Sound the trumpet throughout your land. Consecrate the fiftieth year and proclaim liberty throughout the land. to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you. Each of you is to return to your family property.
fiftieth year will be a jubilee for you. Do not sow and do not reap. For it is a jubilee and it is to be holy for you. Eat only what is taken directly from the abundant fields. Jubilee, everyone is to return to their own. The land will yield its fruit, and you will eat your fill and live there in safety. It's Leviticus 25, 13. In this year of Jubilee, everyone is to return to their own. The land will yield its fruit and you will eat your fill and live there in safety. You may ask, what will we eat if we do not plant or harvest our crops? I will send you such a blessing that the land will yield enough for years. I will send you such a blessing that the land will yield enough for years. Throughout the land that you hold as a possession, you must provide for the redemption of the land. If anyone cannot acquire the means to repay, what was sold will remain in possession of the buyer until the year of Jubilee. It will be returned in the Jubilee, and they can then go back to their property. If any of your fellow Israelites become poor and sell themselves to you, do not make them work as slaves. They are to be treated as hired workers or temporary residents among you. They are to work for you until the year of Jubilee. Then they and their children are to be released, and they will go back to their own and to the property of their ancestors. Even if someone is not redeemed, they and their children are to be released in the year of Jubilee. For they belong to me. They are my servants whom I brought out of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. the prophetic picture from Isaiah chapter 61 prophecy regarding the year of Jubilee the coming of the Messiah the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me 
because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor? He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of the prison to those who are bound. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God. to comfort all who mourn. To grant to those who mourn in Zion to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes. The oil of gladness instead of mourning. garment of praise instead of a faint spirit. That they may be called oaks of righteousness. planting of the Lord that he may be glorified and then they shall build up the ancient ruins and raise up the former devastations and they will repair the ruined cities the devastations of many generations plowmen and vine dressers but you will be called the priests of the Lord and they will speak of you as the ministers of our God and you will eat the wealth of the nations and in their glory you will boast instead of shame you will have a double portion Instead of dishonor, they shall rejoice in their lot. Therefore, in their land, they will possess a double portion, and they will have everlasting joy. Jesus and Holy Spirit. Thank you for what you've done in Jesus. Thank you for this everlasting joy, this restoration, this freedom.
And now we read the fulfillment of the Jubilee as Jesus appears and speaks in Luke chapter 4. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 4, starting at verse 16. he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as was his custom he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day and he stood up to read and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him and he unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Jesus rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke well of him and marveled at the gracious words that were coming from his mouth. The gracious words coming from the mouth of Jesus. chapter 4. After some time, he also came to Nazareth where he was raised. And it was his custom to go to the synagogue on the Sabbath. The scroll of Isaiah the prophet was handed to him. And he stood up to read. He opened the scroll and rolled it out to find the specific place where the following was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to announce glad tidings. Glad tidings to a starving people. He has commissioned me to announce the freedom of forgiveness to those held captive at spear point by their guilt and shame. He has commissioned me to announce the freedom of forgiveness to those held captive at spear point by their guilt and shame. Now the blind may look up and be restored in their sight. 
I am anointed to send out those who are bruised and traumatized into the freedom of redeemed innocence. Thank you for our redeemed innocence, Jesus. Verse 19. I announce that the Jubilee year of the Lord has come. This is the liberation celebration, embracing humanity as home. This is the liberation celebration. Embracing humanity as whole. Jesus then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. And everyone's eyes were fixed on him. They knew that the messianic expectation hinged on this scripture. The big question was when. He announced emphatically, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. For a moment, everyone was touched and filled with wonder at the words of grace that poured out of his mouth. The Jubilee year of the Lord has come. This is the liberation celebration, embracing humanity home. Thank you for this freedom that you have made your home with us. Jesus, that you are in the Father, Father is in you, you are in the Holy Spirit. We are in you, you are in us. You have proclaimed good news to every poor area of our heart, every guilt-laden, every troubled area. You set us free from the incredible bondage of sin into the glorious liberty, the new creation. Thank you for giving us this whole new world of life inside of you. celebrate the freedom we join in the dance today Jesus you are our jubilee Empowering Glory Community is at the heart of everything that Matt and Katie are about. We want to encourage you to gather together with everyday people in your region, drink deep of the grace of the Trinity, and hash out how to live this jubilee in real regions together. 
If you want encouragement in this regard, send us a message for resources or connect with our Kainos Quinonia community gatherings and schools. Matt and the Jubilee crew have local events in Indiana, online gatherings, mission trips, and glory parties all across the world. Matt teaches schools on the cross of Christ regularly. Want to connect with upcoming events or invite Matt and team to your region? Send us an email at info at thefirehouseprojects.com. And lastly, we want to give you an opportunity to give to our ministry and children's home in Nepal. If you believe in this jubilee spreading all over the world, would you consider becoming a monthly partner or giving a one-time donation by going to our website or texting the word BLISS, B-L-I-S-S, to 53555. Everything Matt and Katie do is funded by partners like you, and we'd like to help hundreds more at-risk children and teach the gospel in more places globally. Thanks again for watching, regardless of if you can give today or not. Be blissed in Jesus, our eternal jubilee.